What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are doing a DIY today and it's kind of different because we're going to be experimenting with an ingredient that I have never used before and I've always been really interested in trying. I just never got around to it. So it's kind of like a first impression review and I realize I'm talking really fast. Sorry. <laughs> So I've already used it in my hair, so I'm really excited to just take it out and show you guys the results. Maybe that's why I'm talking fast. Let me tell you what ingredient we're using today. It is the delicious sweet potato. Oh, I freaking love sweet potatoes. They're sweet. They're carbs. I love sweet carbs. <laughs> But the great thing about sweet potatoes is that they're good for you. So like this is such a great breakfast food. I love eating this for breakfast because it satisfies wanting like a carb for breakfast and wanting sugar. The great thing about the sweet potato is that it's full of vitamins. And so it's really great for your skin and for your hair, obviously if you're eating it internally. There's also information circulating around that it could be good for hair fall. So I'm definitely down for that. We all know that green tea is really great for hair fall as well, but I figured I'd just give it a try and see what I think about it as a deep conditioning treatment. Today we're doing an extremely simple sweet potato hair mask. I really wanna see what this potato can do. So let's get into the treatment and then we'll just talk a little bit more about what's so great about the sweet potato. All right guys, so to start, we're gonna need just three items. Half a baked sweet potato, about half a cup of water, and about one quarter cup of olive oil. I always bake my sweet potato in its skin wrapped in parchment paper. You can also use aluminum foil. You can also boil your sweet potato if you like that better, but boiling will cause some of those great nutrients to leach out in the water, just an FYI. So I'm removing the skin of my baked sweet potato and I'm just cutting it into small pieces that'll fit into my blender. Adding about half a cup of water, and then that quarter cup of olive oil, just to make blending easier and also to help it spread neatly throughout my hair. Now just close the cap on your blender or a blender cup and pulverize that mixture until it's smooth. When you're done, it's gonna look something like this, a beautiful creamy orange texture. All right, that looks delicious. It's time to apply it to the hair. I was so excited to give this a try. I'm spraying my hair with just a light spritz of water and this is gonna help loosen those shrunken curls so it's not so tangled. And it's also gonna help the sweet potato conditioner apply more smoothly. Now just do a small spritz of water. Don't completely wet your hair or that conditioning treatment might not soak in all the way. All right, we're going in. Just carefully and as evenly as possible, apply the sweet potato treatment all over your hair. So sweet potatoes taste delicious, but they're also packed with so many vitamins and minerals needed to maintain healthy hair and skin. First of all, it contains a ton of vitamin C, which is not only an antioxidant, meaning it helps to protect the hair follicles from free radical damage, but it's also the main vitamin needed to help produce collagen, which contains important amino acids needed to build keratin, which is the main protein of your hair, skin, and nails. It also contains pantothenic acid, also known as vitamin B5, which helps to reverse thinning hair and helps to moisturize and smooth the hair and skin. Sweet potato also contains vitamin B1 and B6, which helps to promote healthy hair growth along with loads of vitamin A. Vitamin A helps to strengthen the hair, reducing breakage, while also encouraging sebum production to help moisturize the hair and scalp, keeping them healthy. Pro-vitamin A is actually what gives the sweet potato that rich orange color. Sweet potatoes also contain a bit of iron, calcium, magnesium, and selenium, all important minerals for healthy hair growth, as well as high levels of potassium phosphorus. So I'm applying it all over my hair from ends to roots, really working that in. And also don't forget to massage it into your scalp so that the skin on your scalp and your roots can really reap those benefits. Adding sweet potatoes into your diet will definitely help encourage healthier hair growth and softer skin and hair. But applying sweet potato topically has been mentioned to also help in reducing hair fall, possibly by helping to strengthen the hair at the root. And it's also said to help soften the hair and skin on contact. 
Lastly, I'm applying the mixture all over my face and I gotta say, it feels really refreshing. So once you've worked it all into your hair and face, place your hair into a plastic cap or bag and let that sit for about 45 minutes. So I left the mask on my hair for about 45 minutes, rinsed it completely out, followed it up with an apple cider vinegar clarifier, which is one part apple cider vinegar to three parts water, just to make sure that everything was off of my scalp. And also it's really gentle. And I didn't want to shampoo or anything like that because my hair was pretty clean. Anyway, I just wanted to get the mask off of my hair. Followed it up with a leave-in, twisted up my hair, and it is the next day today. So we're going to take it out. My hair is still a little bit wet. As you can see, it's very fluffy. I'm actually shocked right now. I thought I knew the way this video was gonna go. When I was applying to my hair, the potato felt very smooth and moisturizing, but I was like, maybe that's because I have leave-in on my hair. You know, I had just washed it a couple days before. When I rinsed it out of my hair, it didn't feel as moisturizing as when I had first applied it to my hair. In fact, I was definitely looking forward to getting the leave-in conditioner on my hair. It didn't feel like a store-bought conditioner, if you know what I'm saying. And it didn't even feel like if you've ever used avocado or banana, it didn't feel as moisturizing as that either, okay? So it's kind of like somewhere in between. You definitely want to follow it up with a conditioner. So based on the fact that when I was rinsing it out of my hair, I wasn't super impressed by any of its like detangling abilities or how it softened my hair or anything like that I was really expecting to be like well it's great but probably just eat it but now taking out my hair I am very shocked by how soft my hair is it could be the leave-in I don't know <laughs> I mean I've used this leave-in a million times it feels softer than normal this is the only difference here the sweet potato mixture was impressive going on not impressive being rinsed out but the final like it, my hair feels very soft very lightweight i really liked using this as a diy as a topical treatment and i'm really shocked because i didn't think i was going to like it i would not recommend using it on its own just because we're always so used to like having tons of moisture and all that and i also can't speak to whether it has helped my hair fall because i've literally only used it once but i will continue using this and i think it would be amazing in an avocado or a banana hair mask or an avocado banana hair mask or um, a Greek yogurt or um, fenugreek. If you have seen any of my other like hair conditioning DIYs, adding this to any of those would be amazing. I wonder how this would also be of like a bentonite treatment. That could be really cool. I do recommend adding sweet potato into your diet though because it is, like I said, full of tons of beautifying vitamins, it's also really great for you. It's available year round and it's inexpensive. So it's a really great inexpensive DIY to add to your repertoire, so. Yes, potato, mm, sweet potato. All right, so that's the end of my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you will eat more sweet potatoes, add it to your DIY. I hope it was helpful. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.